All right, here's a fun one. I uh, don't think my younger viewers have ever seen one of these. <laughs> and even some of my older viewers maybe have never seen one of these. Um, this is an SP777. Don't know what that is. Uh, it's a nice uh, square package, right? And uh, not much going on here. A little label on the bottom. Uh, maybe the top gives it away. Is uh, a... Uh, on off switch and a reset. That's it. <laughs> That's all you get. That's the user interface. Uh, there is a little grill here. Though, so there's a little speaker speaker there. This gives it away. There's your belt loop. Uh, this is a pager. This is one of the real early pagers when they didn't have numbers. Remember when pagers, they had numbers that came up. So you know who to call? Not these. These just went beep. <laughs> That's all they did. Uh, now, I don't know if um, they, uh, like, if your wife called it was one beep and your girlfriend called it was two beeps. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, I think it just went beep and then you called the call service. So these generally were part of an organization where you had call, call forwarding and stuff to a call center. And these went beep and he called them and says, hey, who called? And they go, oh, Mr. So-and-so, uh, yeah, this, you know, your wife called. Anyway, uh, so we can take off the bottom here. And let's see. I took the, well, it wasn't, didn't have screws when I, when I got it. So let's put that back on. There's two, there's two screws that hold this on, but they were off when I got it. But there's a little battery compartment here. So this is what you would see if you purchased it. And, oh, 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 can you see that crunchy goodness? Uh... Kind of, yeah, there we go. Uh, those are some crusty, 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 uh, weird coin nickel metal hydride things. Yeah, they look they look pretty bad. Although I don't see a way to. Oh, maybe maybe there is a way. Yeah, there's little holes. Well, no, that's for this thing. Oh, yeah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> we'll just close that up and forget about it. Uh, Okay, batteries, they're ugly. All right, so let's look in here. Uh, so single-sided PC board, looks Japanese style. Um, any markings? Are you marking? This is an SP007. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's, let's pull this board out. All right. So it's got two wires, and uh, we will defuse the bomb. There we go. So it went up to the switch, and then to this thing. So there's the speak speaker. It looks just like a a buzzer. Uh, and it looks pretty fancy. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's, looks like there's the receive antenna here on the bottom. Um, now, see, I don't know why it has two. So maybe, maybe there was two frequencies that this would listen to. So, I don't know. So I don't know if it would give you like one beep for one frequency and another beep for a different frequency, or it's just it received on two different frequencies and depending on where what what range of service you had, different carriers or something. I don't know. It's kind of a capacitor kind of floating here in the breeze. There's a uh, crystal down here too. Can I read that? Hmm. 267.4 maybe? I don't know. It's interesting. Anyway, it's all stand-up resistor, old transistor radio style type of stuff. So these little uh, cans here have three leads. A ground and two others, so they must be a filter. So they're marked 82. That might be the year. 
and 128.5. So maybe there was a UHF frequency and a, and a VHF frequency. I, I don't know. Uh, there's a written label here. It's kind of interesting. R4074. Don't know what that is. Anyway, we'll call this a Teardown Tuesday or something. I'll uh, <laughs> see if I can remember to post it on a Tuesday. Uh, I have way too many videos. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Anyway, I don't think there's much to learn here. Uh, it's just a normal receiver. Um, it looks like, like I said, maybe two channels. I could remove this and see if we can sweep them. Um, let me go ahead and do that, see if they match the, uh, match the markings or not. All right, I was uh, desoldering <laughs> these uh, filters, and I went to lever them out, and they just popped right off, and it turns out they're on sockets. That's pretty cool. So I guess everybody had their own frequency or something. I don't know. They have, they have little sockets. So, yeah, really cool. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see if we can measure them. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, these aren't megahertz, these are hertz. Uh, this filter is 746.8 hertz, and that one is 1285 hertz. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to look at uh, the signal, that's 1285 hertz, okay? And I've got my function generator. And uh, watch when I change the function generator. So, this is uh, 1285. 1284, 1283, 1282. Yeah, it is resonant at 1285 megahertz, 1286. Here's 1287, 1288. Yeah, so it's an audio, audio bandpass filter. Very cool. I don't know if they're uh, mechanical or that's really neat. Um, so that one is uh, like I said, 1285, and this other one is uh, 746.8. Should we try that one out? Uh, I gotta remember that number. Uh, let's see here, 476.8. 4, oops, uh, 740, I'm typing it into the analyzer, 486.8, so I don't so I remember. Uh, hertz. Okay, so let's uh, hook up the filter. Let's see, grounds pin one. Oh, that pin, that pin. Yeah, there we go. So there's our. Uh, so that's seven forty six dot four seven forty six dot eight. Here's. 745.8, yeah, it goes down. And then 747.8, ah, that's still pretty high. There we go, 748.8, went way down. So, very cool. Uh, mechanical filters, I like them. Might have to take one of those apart, take a look inside. All right, yes, this is the technology that goes inside. Oops. Tuning fork technology. This is A440, of course. I used to tune pianos back in the day. Anyway, um, let's uh, change lenses here so you can see inside. I've already pulled it apart. There's just two little tabs you pull. So this, this little, oops, can you see them? Those little tabs just fold out of the way. And then this thing comes out. And there you go, those are the tuning forks. Very cool, it's got this little uh, copper shield inside too, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see here, let me, let me flip this over so we can take a look at it. So yeah, so the tuning forks go out this way and that's all there is to it, tuning fork. <laughs> So how do you make electrical contact with these things? 
There's just a little wire on there. This looks like this little piezo thing. Looks like this little piezo thing on both sides, so I think that's the way it works. Um, and it oscillates at, uh, well, this one oscillates at 1285. Oops, can you see that little piezo chip there on the side? Well, that's unexpected. Very cool. I like them.